That was pretty fun. The food was good. The restaurant had a rustic feel to it. It had been a while since all of us went out together. <laughs> what? Why are you looking at me like that? Do you have a tummy ache from all the food you ate? <laughs> I know I ate more than you. I'm just teasing. Hey, listen. I don't want you to take this the wrong way. And you're probably going to say I have nothing to worry about. But if I don't say anything, it's going to drive me insane. You know, I've always been the type of guy to let things go pretty easily. And to overlook almost everything. But there's just some things I've just not been able to let go. <laughs> nah, never mind. It's, it's late, I'm tired, and the last thing I want to do is get into an argument. Do you really want to know? Alright, but... I warned you, so don't be getting mad and losing sleep over it. Whenever you're around certain friends of mine, I just don't like the way they act around you. We were at that party, and you know I notice people's body language a lot. And I notice a certain someone just wouldn't take their eyes off of you. I know, I know we've had this conversation before, but I think we brush it off too quickly. We gloss over it. I never really reach a solution that I'm okay with. What? No, it's not like that. How do you know? I've known him for years. You like to give people the benefit of the doubt. But at this point, it's been going on for too long. If something bothers me, and I tell you, you say I have nothing to worry about. I... Uh, no, you wanted to know, so let me talk. So you ask about it, yeah? And then nothing changes. It's nothing even that serious. It builds up in my head and may or may not be as big of a problem as I think it is. But I have to bring it up, regardless. Hmm. Okay. Well, let me finish. If you keep interrupting me, I'll lose my train of thought. As I was saying, it's been gnawing at me, and I briefly mentioned it before. But the fact that nothing has changed just seems to perpetuate my jealousy. And then nothing changes. If something bothers me, and I tell you, you say you have nothing to worry about. I know it might be unwarranted, but whenever you talk to him, the way he looks at you, it burns a hole through my chest. As I'm burning a hole through his head, I've just always had a feeling that he wants you. He wants what he can't have. He wants what I have. It started small, you know. It was him calling me and asking about you. Didn't think much of it at first. But then he started messaging you on social media. And he never mentions it to me. And if it weren't for you telling me, I'd never know. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you say it's harmless. But I know how it is. I know his intentions. The way he looks at you is the way that I looked at you. Before I knew exactly what to do with you. When I first saw you, that's how I felt. I got lost in your eyes, as if I could swim in them. I was so mesmerized. It was like you could see my soul and every intention it had behind it. And this was that glimpse into you that kept me thinking that I wanted you to be mine. I got to experience you slowly. Your eyes were the catalyst, and the rest of you entangled me. I... I was yours before you even knew it. That's how I know, and I know you don't feel the same way about him, but I can't help but be bothered by it. Because you're mine. You're mine, and I know the same way I stumbled across your gaze. You did so with mine, and there was a connection there, a connection so strong, that no person could come between us, no matter how hard they tried. Make me a promise. Hmm, anything, really. How about you get me that new game that's coming out? <laughs> but seriously, let's just move on from this. Learn from it. And I'll remind you why I know exactly what to do with you. What do you think I mean by moving on? Hmm. Tell me. I want to hear from you.
What do you think I mean? Yeah, exactly. I love that you don't hide how much you love me. And that might be the reason why he's after you. He wants that. But there's no way in hell that he can get you or anyone like you. There is nobody in this world like you. So he's out of luck. I have that one of one. Me. I'm your one of one. What am I to you? I'm flattered. <laughs> You're my one of one. And you always will be. We will always find people. That will want to break us apart. Because they want you. Or they want me. Or what they don't know. I can't be like this with anybody else but you. I can only love this way. This way because of you. You know that, right? You're the only person I've treated like this. The only person that's inspired me to love has been you. You're my muse in everything. I'm dedicated to you. You're all I look forward to. And the way that I love you will never ever happen again. So you better stick around, because nobody's loving you the way that I do. Don't forget that. You're mine. You're mine.